Well, Ricky, let me ask you a question. Let's, you know, let's hypothetically here, you have a conversation, you call Mr. Property Owner, and you wind up having, uh, you engage in a conversation, and it's a pretty decent conversation. And and pretty much the outcome is, I have no idea if I'm getting ready to sell. Maybe I will in a cool. year. Cool, cool, Mr. Walsh. What do you have an agent you would work with if you were to buy or sell? Right. Uh, and and how are you keeping in touch with that that prospect after the fact? Are you because you know, he tells me he does or doesn't have an agent? I say I'd love to work with him when the day he does want to do a deal. And would it be okay if I stayed in touch? Great. What's a good email? Perfect. Is this your cell number? You know, great. I'm going to stay in touch with you via email. Again, my name is, I'm with whatever company in whatever area. Um, you know, I'm, I'm going to stay in touch with you via email. If you ever need anything whatsoever, help moving a piece of furniture, you give me a ring. You know what okay. I also do is email. email. So yeah, I think you're, you're people right. lose sight of the fact. I mean, I've had the people in my network that they have a relative, let's say that's a real estate agent. I know they're never going to buy or sell through me. Uh, just because it's their brother's daughter. Well, you don't and... really know that, right? So well, you, you that person that. could get out of the business. That person could do something yeah. that that person didn't like. People change agents all the time. So when they tell me that they have an agent, I'm like, great, who is it? I may know them. Oh, great. They're a great agent. You're in really good hands. Listen, I would still love the opportunity. I'd still love to stay in touch with you if that's okay. Oh, it is? Cool. What's a good email? So I'm putting them in my database and I'm sending them my weekly email, just like I do all my clients, right? Every single Wednesday, regardless if they have an agent or not, if they're willing to give me that information, because two years down the line, I've forgotten about them, but they've seen my emails, their agent retires or whatever happens, they have a bad experience and they say, you know what, I'm going to give Rick a shot. So it happens all the time. I could care less about all of that. I mean, my my job is to put my name in as many hats as possible, right? And and put and get put myself in the best position with every prospect to push it to the to the maximum level of the possibility that we could do a deal one day. And whether it happens or not, it doesn't matter because I'm going to do my job to build that database up to the 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 largest that I can. So I know I'm always going to have business. Right. The dream is, is to build such a massive database that deals just fall in your lap without prospecting at all. And and that and that's so, it, it. Everybody trying to run away from talking to people. You're you're really never going to get to that place. I 35 with a top down. Quit to tell a hater they should get like me. Seem like everybody want to be the boss, but it costs and these lanes ain't like me. Drop a couple bands on the